Hey guys, it's Brianna. I'm back today, and what we're going to talk about, well first, before I even start this video, I just want you guys to know that I keep, like, screwing up when I talk, so, and I'm not making another video, because I've made, like, a thousand of them already, so, just bear with me. Um, what I'm going to talk to you guys about today is in, found in Hebrews 13.5, and I'm going to go ahead and read that to you guys, and I'm going to tell you something that kind of, like, blew my mind. Hebrews 13.5 says, Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. And I think that's kind of cool because it's the honest truth. Like, I mean, I could even testify to that. Like, God will never leave you and he will never forsake you. So, um, I think that's kind of cool. And then there's another thing. I don't remember what the name of it is, but if you look it up on Google Images, um, it's a galaxy and it's shaped as a cross. So look up on Google Images if you want to see a picture of it. It's called, like, the Cross Galaxy or something like that. And it'll, show, it'll come up with a big picture, and it's going to be, like, blue. And it's going to have a cross in the center of it. And I think that's kind of cool because then there's another thing, and it's actually on us, and it's called, I'm going to pronounce this wrong. I know I am because I always do. It's like a linean or a linion, L-I-N-I-N is how you spell it. If you look it up on Google Images, but I'm going to read you, I'm going to tell you guys the definitions of it. It's um, the filamentous achromatic material and the nucleus of a cell that interconnects chromatin granules. You may be thinking, what the heck's that? It's just a nucleus that connects your skin to you, to keep your skin on you. And they're actually, if you look at them underneath the microscope, they're actually little teeny microscopic crosses. And so if you look it up on Google Images, it's L-I-N-I-N. -I -I and I think that's kind of cool because in Matthew's, in Matthew's, yeah, Matthew, Matthew 24, 29, and 30, it says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. So I think that's kind of cool. And I think that's something that we all kind of need a reminder of. And so what I'm going to leave you guys with today is the question is, of um, if God is big enough to be able to control everything, why do you think he's not big enough to control the problems that you guys are going through? And I think that might have been a question I already left on one of my other videos, but that's okay. I can repeat myself. So that's my video for you guys today. Um, thanks for bearing with me. I, for some reason, have like had a bad day and not able to talk. And my friend Clay keeps saying I'm going to make it to 12 videos. And I'm going to prove him wrong and only make it to 11. So I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. For those of you guys who are up and like where I am near Ohio, enjoy the awesome snowstorm we're supposed to get tonight. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. video. There I go, video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment or message me. Um, have a good weekend if I don't talk to you guys on Friday. Thanks.